So this is the antique shop that we're gonna go check out today. It's actually pretty cool. It's a little antique market that's here in Bozeman. And they got a lot of cool stuff from everywhere in the area. So let's uh, see what we find out. glass and pottery and tile and stuff like that and this is more leather and wood and really cool stuff but uh, not the stuff I'm particularly looking for this is actually of a different era than usually what most radioactive things are so let's uh, keep looking around here Sherbert uh, style uh, cups that are made out of uranium glass, which is also called depression air glass. These are very cool. I actually have one of them at home. And they glow under UV light too. You gotta listen for those little tickles on the Geiger counter. I'll tell you something good is uh, near. It's kind of hard to detect stuff through glass that's actually better if it's all open air because then you can detect it from a long way off. <gasps> Ooh, I just saw something. The question is, is that radioactive? So let's see if the Geiger counter can detect 
Okay, I think it's radioactive from over here. That's a, that's a nice hot plate there. And I think I'm gonna pick it up because it is a steel. So that's something I'd be kind of wary of is that even if stuff looks like this, it looks like it might be radioactive. It doesn't mean that it is. That's the other thing too, if you're going to be in here uh, sightseeing, it's always good to buy something. Uh, these places need sales and uh, it's cool to look around and stuff, but always try and buy something because more than likely you'll always find something you like, or at least I do. a thorium uh, mantle lamp, uh, like a replacement for like the old style camping lamps. And what they actually used to do is make those out of thorium oxide, because uh, they found that if they heated up thorium oxide, it actually glowed very brightly. And so... Sometimes I just have to check and make sure I don't have any contamination on my hands when handling stuff like that. is probably the thing I find the most around here and uh, or in any antique shop really I mean it's there's just so much of it and it's pretty cool things of the past some may contain poison Some of this might be radioactive and none of it might be. That's a lot of fierce to wear. Uh, sometimes the cream can be radioactive. Let's check it out. This is the one I was looking at. So this is another Bauer Los Angeles plate that's pink. And you wouldn't think this is radioactive, but it is. I might pick this one up too. It's kind of original. I don't think I have a pink radioactive plate, so. All right, thanks a lot. See you. All right, take it easy. You too, thank you. Burr. Burr. Well, that was a fun, uh, fun little trip inside of the antique store there. Uh, it's really cold, so I'm gonna try and do this quickly. 
Um, but if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna make some more videos of uh, hitting up a different antique shops from some of the other places I visit. And uh, yeah, take it easy. And uh, I'm gonna get warm. It's negative five out here. It's, it's, it's Montana. All right, take it easy.